Search algorithms are one of the most important areas of artificial intelligence. This video series will explain all about search algorithm terminologies. We will come to know, how does the AI solve search problems like finding the best path for user in Google Map? We will learn about some of the famous search algorithms and we will also implement them using JavaScript. In order to make the concepts crystal clear for you, we will use a real-world scenario like the maze problem. An AI system is composed of an agent and its environment. An agent is an entity that perceives its environment and acts in that environment. In our example, Bugs Bunny is the agent and Maze is the environment. A state is configuration of agent and its environment. These are four different states of our Maze system. The state in which agent begins is known as initial state. This is the initial state in which Bugs Bunny begins to solve the maze. The state in which agent reaches the goal is known as goal state. This is the goal state in which Bugs Bunny has found the goal. Choices that can be made in any given state are known as actions. Here Bugs Bunny can take one of three different possible actions. It is a function which takes any state S as an argument and returns the set of all actions that can be performed in that particular state. Transition model is a description of what state we will get after we perform some available action in any other state. It is a function that returns the state which we get after we perform some action A in any other state S. The state space of an AI system is the set of all possible states of the system. In this maze, there are 59 black blocks. It means that the state space of this maze system is the set of 59 possible states. Goal test is a test which determines whether a given state is a goal state. In our example system, the goal test is to check, is Bugs Bunny inside the same black block in which we hid the carrot? If this is true, then the state is goal state. Numerical cost associated with any given path is called path cost. Path cost is the sum of costs of individual actions along the path. This is a graph which includes some states and some actions in order to get us from one state to another. The path cost of path from state A to state E is equal to 10. The path cost of path from state B to state F is equal to 5. Path cost depends upon different factors in different problems. For example, the path cost of a route in Google Maps depends upon its traffic, its length and time taken to cover the route. In some problems, cost of all individual actions is the same. In this case, the path cost of a path depends only on the total number of steps or actions taken in order to cover that path. The path cost of path from state A to state E is equal to total number of actions taken in order to cover this path which is 3. Example is our maze system where cost of all individual actions is the same. In this maze, there are two paths which lead the Bugs Bunny from initial state to gold state. If we consider that Bugs Bunny follows the white line path, Bugs Bunny has to perform 26 actions to reach the goal. Hence, the path cost of white line path is 26. A sequence of actions that leads from the initial state to the goal state is known as a solution. If state A is the initial state and state F is the goal state, then two possible solutions exist. A solution that has the lowest path cost among all solutions is known as optimal solution. In this example, the path cost of first solution is 3, and the path cost of second solution is 2. Hence, second solution is the optimal solution. In this example, two solutions exist. The path cost of white line solution is less than the path cost of red line solution. Hence, 
White line solution is the optimal solution. In search problems, we always try to find the optimal solution. Node is a data structure which keeps track of a unique state associated with this node. A parent node which generated this node, or in other words, led us to the state of this node. An action applied to parent node to get to this node, or in other words, get to the state of this node. A path cost from initial state to the state of this node. Discovering all child nodes of a node is known as expanding the node. Frontier is a data structure which contains all the nodes that we could explore next, that we have not yet visited or explored. Explored set is a data structure which contains all the nodes that we have explored. Start with a frontier that contains the node having initial state. Start with an empty explored set. Now repeat the following steps. If the frontier is empty, then no solution exists. Remove a node from the frontier. If the node contains goal state, return the solution. Add the node to the explored set. Expand the node, add resulting nodes to the frontier if they are not already in the frontier or the explored set. Here we have a graph consisting of six nodes which are connected by edges. For our case, edges represent actions. Consider that we need to find a path from node A to node E. So node A contains the initial state whereas node E contains the goal state. So let's start by having node A and frontier in empty explored set. Frontier is not empty. Remove no day from the frontier. No day does not contain the goal state. Add no day to the explored set. By expanding no day, we get node B as resulting node. Node B is not already in the frontier or the explored set. So add node B to the frontier. Frontier is not empty. Remove node B from the frontier. Node B does not contain the goal state. Add node B to the explored set. By expanding node B, we get node A, C and D as resulting nodes. Node A is already in the explored set while node C and D are not in the frontier or the explored set. So add only node C and D to the frontier. Frontier is not empty. Now the question arises, which node do we have to remove from the frontier? Choosing which node you remove from the frontier is what makes search algorithms different from each other. We will discuss those algorithms in the next video of this series. For now, we will randomly remove a node from the frontier. So let's remove node C from the frontier. Node C does not contain the goal state. Add node C to the explored set. By expanding node C, we get node E as resulting node. Node E is not already in the frontier or the explored set. Now we have to add node E to the frontier. Another question arises that, do we have to add node E to the start of the frontier or to the end of the frontier? Choosing where to add the resulting nodes in the frontier is also an important part of some search algorithms. For now, we will randomly decide this. So let's add node E to the frontier. Frontier is not empty. Remove node E from the frontier. Node E contains the goal state so return the solution. Solution is the sequence of actions we took which led us from node A to node E. The question here is that how do we derive this solution programmatically?
Recall that every node stores its parent node which generated this node and also, the action applied to the parent node to get to this node. So once we get to the node containing the goal state, we can backtrack our way and figure out what actions we took to get to the goal. We can accomplish this using a loop where we are constantly looking for the parent of every node and also the action applied to the parent node until we get to the node containing the initial state, which has no parent node. In the next video of this series, we will learn about some of the famous search algorithms in detail and also learn how to use them to find the solution of search problems like the maze problem or finding the best route for user in Google Maps. Support me by subscribing my channel, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thank you.